Hi folks, this is Ziggy. Nice to see you again. Nice to have you here with me today with an old classic by the Stones called Honky Tonk Woman. And uh, well, this is an arrangement that I learned some 300 years ago for standard tuning. And uh, a lot of the real Stones fan, they complain, why not do it in the original Open G? But maybe you're a guitarist in a top 40 band or whatever, and you don't have uh, 27 guitars and you don't want to change and to tune a lot. You can use this maybe and um, I think it is quite an interesting arrangement. Let us go into details here. You start with your middle finger and your ring finger on the fifth fret on the A and the D string. And you can let ring the open G string like this. So three, not like that, four, but three strings ring. And to get the rhythm, you play this rhythm, but to get the effect, yeah, it's all a question of muting the strings. So when I strike down, when I have two beats, I press my palm down on the strings, not press, but slightly touch the strings. Try to get this groove. Try to let your body rock in case it does not, or the body doesn't rock. He, um, then, well, something is not okay because what you want to create is a feeling that when you play in front of an audience, the people immediately have to feel the rhythm and uh, you can see how people start to move their bodies if you really rock, yeah? Like that. Then we go into the main riff. I played like this. I put my first finger on the second fret of the G string, the middle finger on the third fret of the B string. And then I play these two strings and hammer on with my ring finger the fourth fret of the G string which sounds like this go back and then I use my pinky my little finger here for the fifth fret of the D string yeah And then again G and B string and again the pinky. This is the first part of the riff and the rest goes like this. You hammer on again the ring finger Go back to the beginning with the G and B string and play with your pinky. Now the first finger goes to the second fret of the D string, back to the fifth. And the first finger is on the second fret of the G string. Once again this riff, slowly try to follow it. Yeah, this is fun. Again, you have to get a feeling for the right hand to mute here and there. It is really difficult to explain it step by step in, at, in every millisecond, yeah, but um, you hear the stops like that. All the time when you hear these stops, I put my palm off the right hand on the strings. And it is important that you have fun with each section of this song with all the little riffs, the parts, first start to play this here.
Once you have the rhythm, you go on there yeah, and dip into the riff here. When you're a singer, you can start to sing, but to play along is not that easy with this arrangement. But I try to do it. I'm at a gin so barrel with a man face. Hey, you see, this is what can happen. You try to sing. I can't sing, but uh, I try to do it, and immediately I play the wrong notes. I give you an idea of what I've played. So, I'm at a gin-soaked baron queen. You play the beginning with the middle finger and the ring finger on the fifth fret. Beginning of the song. I'm at a gin-soaked baron. And I play the first finger on the third fret of the deep E string and move into the seventh fret of the deep E string like this. slide into the note and then the fifth fret on the D string is a G I play that once again and the next thing I'll do is I play the chord the C major chord and I play it like this I play with my first finger I press down the third fret of the A string and then I bar the D, G, and B string in the fifth fret. And automatically I tune the thin E string and I don't touch the deep E string. So this is my C major chord here once again. Then I can use my pinky here to play this accent which sounds always uh, to me a little bit like the stone sound oh, this is really classic rock once again I'm not a oh Jinso Baron Queen Memphis and then I have a kind of fill in First finger on the 7th fret of the B, middle finger on the 8th fret of the G. I play two strings, slide down into, with my middle, with my first finger into the 5th fret of the G. Okay, let me do this again. Then I play the open G string, 3rd finger, no, first finger on the third fret of the G string and my ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string of the not G but D string oh I have to concentrate okay I think you too have to concentrate um, let me see where we were okay from the beginning Back to the beginning, I explained that part. Then we go to the A major, which I play with my first finger and I bar it here. And then I play that part, open A string, Ring finger on the 4th fret of the A string and the 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. Let's start again with the, with the verse. I'm at a Jinso Baron Queen of Memphis It's a fill She tried to leave me upstairs for a ride 
the right is the D major. We have the C major. Then now we play the D major. And again the four, the fourth of the chord. She tried to leave me upstairs. Oh no. She tried to Da -da -ba -ba. I don't know the words. Da -da. Da -da 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 -ba -ba. Da -ba. I go here back to the beginning and before the chorus starts I play this little riff here. Something like that. But let me do the verse again slowly so that you can follow it. I hope you can follow it. Play as slowly as, as, slowly as I can. Something like that. Before the chorus start, I bend the G string in the 14th fret. And my pinky is here on the what is it? The 15th fret of the thinny and the B string. As I pluck the G string, E string, B and G again. And then I play as many notes so that I'm on the one when the chorus starts, yeah? You know this little riff? First finger on the, th on the third fret of the E string and the ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And the pinky goes into the seventh fret. Is a woman. Give me, give me, give me the hand the jump blues. This is a seventh chord, but I only play the two notes on the top. Ring finger on the fifth fret of the B, pinky on the sixth fret of the E string. Here I bar the B string and the E string in the third fret. Then I use the fifth fret of the G, third fret of the G. Something like that, fifth fret of D and third fret of D, fifth fret of the A string. 